everyone my name is Sabi Johan and today we're gonna learn how to measure slab area in this video so let's begin uh, I consider just to give you the example this layout uh, there are actually multiple ways actually different ways to measure slab area I try to show few uh, and whatever the way you like you prefer you can follow it so let's just begin with the first one before we measure i really recommend to set the scale by clicking here and before you proceed always make sure by uh, confirming through dimension fine now we'll start with the first so let's begin by clicking on the area button i will click here area we will just give a name uh, ground floor slab area we can choose color from here any color press ok and we need to highlight this is the regular way of uh, measurement we can highlight by clicking accurate point now you see beside my cursor software show the dimension so the way i move my cursor software show the total value in the same manner so it's totally depend on us depend on a user how the user clicks so we have to click it accurately fine now this is the point once i realize that's it I can right click and stop so if I want to see the total I can simply right click and I ask software to show me the label once I click here software show me the label here I understand it's a square meter in slab we need volume cubic meter millimeter or centimeter that's different thing unit doesn't matter here concept is we need volume cubic meter so we'll come to this point that's our focus today uh, but let's get more example before we proceed now there is opening we we want to remove this additional thing there is a column we don't want to keep it inside so how to remove those there is one option right click and the option is subtract from section i can click on it software will now allow me to subtract so i can easily subtract okay this one is not part of my section so i can double click yeah fine now i find that this is also so right click subtract from section and i can remove this section so software will show me only the remaining the accurate one this is remaining in the same way we can remove other as well but this is just to give you the example fine now once i highlighted this completely uh if i have to remove other i can but now i need to see the total volume so right now we are working on a home tab i need to click here now on an estimating tab once i click there on estimating software show me total is 265 and again it's square meter our concern is cubic meter volume so see we have this option here in plan swift volume by this by default software will show us the depth zero if we know the depth we can find out in a drawing okay here i find out my depth is here my thickness here for the volume software use the term depth you can use it as a thickness so come to the estimating tab here you can find out the depth column and you can enter the thickness once you enter you will find out your total volume is updated and by the way you can change anytime just click one time and you can change okay this it will automatically update okay this is the first way of working by the way if you uh, don't see depth and volume in plan swift no need to worry you just need to simply show them here click on a column software will show you all the available columns and you can simply find out you see down if i uncheck it's gone once i check it will appear it so we just need to check these columns okay fine so this is the first way of working if you need to see on excel you simply need to press that button export to excel software will quickly generate the sheet and it will show you the result okay this is all you have done till now and this is your excel sheet now you can prepare as you want you can change the color you can uh, add the wastage factor maybe you can play as much you want total price or unit price or wastage factor that's a calculation it's a formula stuff so till now we learn in first way software will help us to get the area and if we enter the depth we will get the volume fine okay 
Now the second way of working that we called plan swift and excel integration. It means the latest version 10.2 I have installed I'm using right now 10.2 this version can link with my existing excel sheet if I have the formulas there software can help me a lot. How it gonna happen let's start the execution. So if I right click I can see plans from the top. Those who don't know how to see this and how to work there is a card on the top you can click there and you will learn how to use this excel integration fine but let's just begin okay i need area here i can hide this fine i will right click here plan shift is on the top and i can choose the tool fine once i click it will automatically jump here i can give a name okay it's ground floor slab area and detail we can enter fine press okay we need to highlight now Again, we can highlight in the same manner wherever we see the section. We can highlight. Right click and stop. Now, software shows total value here. Still, it's square meter. And as I mentioned earlier, it's still in a plan section estimating tab. But now the benefit is you don't need to type the value. If you have prepared formula, value will automatically go there. That's the benefit. If you have some prepared formula, you can change the height. Okay, now maybe 0.3 software will automatically update the value same manner you can add here wastage factor price total price as many you want software can help us here a lot so uh, this is the second way of working if you connect to your excel sheet it will give you the benefit good thing here if i change anything right now value is 266 so if i change anything just to give you the example okay it's here only you will see now 210 if you modify I increase or decrease software will show me the value in the same manner and if you find out it's not updating you just need to refresh you see here now the value is updated here so this is the benefit increase or decrease software will keep reflecting here this is the second way of working plan shift and excel integration now the third way of working in this way we will learn how to create the template for volume so you don't need to spend extra time entering the height later on or modifying the formula we'll just prepare one formula and that formula will use for all our job how it gonna happen we'll start now so click here on template click you can choose any template sample template or any Basically, we're going to create a new one. So I will click here, area. Fine, we can give a name here, volume. So next time we will use the same name. It just as a reference, we can change later on. Click here, property. Software will show you all the property. You can choose the property that you want to see on a form. So on a form layout, I want to see depth you can see here there are volume wall height there are so many properties we will not talk about those property in this video but our concern is depth so i have checked here this is what i want to see and if we click here form software will show us that's how it's gonna look alike later on and if we want to adjust we'll click here again adjust and there is one option form layout and there are name, depth, if we want to see the units for uh, depth. So we can check, you see here, it appear. Uncheck, it's gone. So if you really wanna see it, just keep it checked. This is this, in the same manner, you can play with other name, other properties, but that's not our concern. That's not our focus today. Press okay, click here form. That's how it will look like whenever you turn this item on. So that's how it's gonna look like we need to change one important thing in this formula click here advanced you see quantity that's what software show you always take off square meter but actually we need here volume so we need to change here the for the, the output unit and input unit so I change into cubic meter you can change according to your scope according to your country units you can change so I'm going to change here in cubic meter it's changed here now press ok formula is created by the way if you want to add 
10% wastage factor and other it's in the same manner so we show you cubic meter right so why not to click here and add 10 percentage wastage factor software will give you extra so you can add multiply as you want press ok now this formula is created here we'll go to the plan there is nothing right now so now instead of clicking here because if we click here it will take us to the regular way now we have created a formula so if we click here on the right side we'll find out our created formula so i will click here now on this green button to active my template once i click software will show me the same layout i have prepared so i can give a name now it doesn't matter we can change the name okay ground floor uh, slab area depth we can enter at same time this is the benefit of creating so we don't need to type the uh, the depth and thickness later we can adjust now name depth press ok you will see now i will quickly highlight once i'm done firstly on the left side you can see i have the total cubic meter if i want to see as a legend right click show legend software show me the cubic meter here as well so this template this is the third way of getting the value it will help us now i will add a question here what if we need a shuttering here as well so as we know for shuttering we need just total linear total total parameter so software can help us here in two ways first in estimating tab we just need to find the columns once we click here column software will show us the other uh, column we can simply check okay i'm looking for linear total once i check software will show me here total linear this is the first way of working fine but if you want to see the total linear on the excel sheet that gives you the maximum benefit so open the excel sheet now choose the cell where you want to see the shuttering total choose the cell is this the cell you want right click in a cell plan surface on the top and of course you're not looking for new linear it's already existing so once you click here existing item software will show you all so you can select the item okay from this item you're looking for some property not the quantity not the volume you're looking for total linear once you choose the total linear press ok software will show you here total linear and this is just a formula it automatically multiply by the length thickness or you know depth and you have the total square meter it's just a formula stuff main thing software can show us automatically value here the rest is formula now what is the benefit of working in this way the benefit if we change anything it will automatically update the value let me show you here firstly if we don't remember where is the section we can simply find from here now if we go to the plan shift it's already highlighted and what if we find out later on okay by mistake we highlight it all actually it should be here you see i modified now if i open the excel sheet i don't need to update the total square meter which is volume here and the uh, the total shuttering both updated if it's linked with the same it will update automatically this is the benefit of working in plans of an excel integration fine now question number two if we go to the estimating tab and what if we don't find depth and volume here let me just show you here maybe this is how your excel sheet look alike and you don't have here volume or depth so first of all you can choose any layout and then you can arrange according to your requirement so i don't need i don't need this i can simply drag outside or i can click on a column and i can uncheck that i don't want like pricing i can remove those i don't want each cost or markup i removed all now i need here depth volume and the units right fine so we need to find out if we can find in a layout that's good we can check but imagine we don't have so we can simply click here on a plus button as an add column then type it depth now once you type this depth the first character should be capital because that's how software understand there is a coding behind so we have to type the exact name depth this is first and second depth is a number 
it's not a text it's a number it's important to have same data type depth we add it you can see here it appear right now now we need volume click here to add new column now we will type the name volume and as I said first vector should be capital and you should have a same uh, spelling same word volume you cannot ask software to give you cubic meter cubic feet software will not help you because software cannot understand those words you have to type the same name and first vector should be capital and same data type its number and if you want units you can check once I added these two columns I can close you see it appears and I have the depth and I have the volume if I change anything just to give you example it will work so this is how you can play with the columns you can add the column okay I hope you learn and enjoy this video if you want to watch more videos you can subscribe the channel so you will be notified automatically for the upcoming videos thank you Thank you.